what is going on fiends so last night i uh did a teaser reaction for the new teaser for terrifier 3 and uh i was looking at the news today and it seems that this teaser has caused a bit of controversy which is nothing new to damien leone and this terrifier series um Pretty much all his movies have been shrouded in some sort of controversy, albeit due to the uh, graphic nature of the movies being over-the-top gore, so on and so forth. Uh, this one just seemed to hit a little bit different because a lot of people are uh, attacking the teaser for its... Um, implied uh, murder of a small child the little girl in the uh, in the teaser now I can understand those people's feelings those folks I can understand their feelings wholeheartedly but I can also see it from the other side of the street and um, because we didn't see that we didn't see it. Now, it's left up to us, the viewer, to kind of pretty much come to our own conclusion as to what happened. And uh seems most have come to their conclusion that Art diced up this little girl and then enjoyed milk and cookies underneath the Christmas tree. Kids getting ganked in horror movies is nothing new. Um... And this was tame compared to some. I don't know if any of y'all remember 2017's It. Uh, little Georgie at the beginning of that movie. Uh, he got his uh, arm torn off. Basically became a snack for a killer clown in a sewer. And we literally saw his arm get tore off. And we saw him crawling away with his little stump going like this. That was way worse than this teaser. That's one example. Example number two. Uh, 1983's Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. When the little boy was watching the Silver Shamrock commercial with his pumpkin mask on, and though it didn't show what was happening to him under the mask, uh, his head melted and turned into bugs and snakes. There's that. And the earliest example of this 1932's Frankenstein where the monster saw a little girl throwing stuff into the uh, lake, river, whatever so Frankenstein thought, hey, you know cool, so I'll just throw her in there because he didn't understand but it killed the little girl so that's three examples right there of way worse than what we saw in this teaser but like I said before, I understand most people's concerns with this. I get it. But um, I watched a video today from uh, one of my favorite channels here on YouTube. Though they don't need my shout out. Uh, they're doing just fine without me. But uh, we watched a movie, Mike and Jay. And uh, shout out to Mike and Jay. Love your channel. Love your content. But Mike had a... Um, a really good uh theory on this teaser and um in his video which i'll link in the description of this one he said what if the little girl walked up on art just putting the crisp uh, presents under the christmas tree and then what we see at the end is actually the blood from santa claus that art had brutally murdered santa claus off screen and then was finishing up his work by delivering all the toys to the boys and girls which would totally be a badass way for this movie to go and I could like Mike I agree I could see Damien Leone totally doing this um, but it's no secret that uh, Damien Leone came out not too long ago and said that this uh installment of the series was going to be way more over the top 
to the extent of most studios wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole which I think he does on purpose so he can keep creative control because you know these big studios would love to get their hands on this property because it's a hot property right now. It's making money. It's a successful indie property. And if they could get it under a big studio banner, then they're going to bastardize it. They're going to cut so much down because they got to keep it PC and um, tasteful to an extent that it would ruin Damien Leone's vision. Now, as I said in my uh, teaser reaction last night, these movies aren't my cup of tea. But with that said, I still respect them, and I respect Damien Leone as a filmmaker, a special effects artist. You know, I don't have to necessarily want to consume what he's creating, but I still respect what he's doing, and he has done something that very few can say that they have done is taken a little to basically an unknown indie film property and turned it into something mainstream without any backing from these big mega giant film studios but um i'm gonna pull up this uh, article real quick that kind of encapsulate in can't even talk that kind of encapsulates all this um uh, and there's even a actual tweet from a X slash Twitter user about how they felt about this. So uh, let's have a look. Terrifier 3 trailer creates unease. Film goers who caught the Terrifier 3 trailer have been discussing whether art went too far in a thread that went viral on X. The original post from a viewer who had no problem with the gory and violent nature of the previous films, but felt that the trailer's suggestion that a child was tortured and killed violently by art was over the line. Many Terrifier fans have been arguing against this, suggesting that the point of the horror film is to be unsettling and that art had even gone for children before in All Hallows' Eve, which I've not seen, so I can't say if he has or hasn't albeit off screen other fans have pointed to other horror films with younger victims as well such as the recent Halloween trilogy from Blumhouse to argue that this kind of thing isn't all that uncommon in the genre and I forgot to mention that um, in 2018's Halloween uh, Michael Myers pretty much killed a kid in that and we, I think we've kind of forgotten that but uh, here's the tweet. So let's look at that real quick. This tweet was from November 4th. So obviously they went and saw this film when it uh, uh, went and saw Terrifier 2 when it was playing in theaters again as a way to show the teaser in theaters. So they got to see it before uh, uh, any of us did yesterday. So, okay. So I just saw the teaser for Terrifier 3. And if it is what I think it is, you are disgusting for wanting to watch it. I'm not saying this because I'm sensitive. No, Terrifier is just known for being gory and violent, which I have no problem where since I've watched both movies. However, in this teaser, it bugging hints at a child being slaughtered. Listen, you can effectively make children in your form of art or... I don't know. Maybe I'm just old and I don't know what these abbreviations are. Experience hardship or even die. But the Terrifier movies are be meant to be just gore for gore. There's no purpose other than being gory. And I am going to reiterate, I have no problem if you like gore. However, if you are watching this or a movie, knowing damn well a child may be tortured and killed violently, please block me. 7.43 p.m. November 4th, 2023. That is all. So, this movie ain't even out in the theaters yet, and it's already stirring up the shit. Uh, but like I said before, I watched the teaser. I didn't see anything that was that bad. Yes, it did imply that if you... But it could be so many other things. It really, really could... 
I think everybody just needs to take a step back, catch your breath, cool your jets, calm your tits. It'll be okay. I promise. It's fiction. It's not real. Um, that's first and foremost. But, uh, anywho. I've seen worse. Really, really have. In my 47 years on this earth, I have seen way worse happen to kids in horror movies. But, uh, I mean, if that's how you feel about it, that's how you feel about it. You don't have to see it. You don't have to. But, um, anyway, I just wanted to get on here and make a video about this because this kind of caught my attention. And I just feel like it's a big nothing burger. Uh, I think a lot of people are just jumping to conclusions and blowing something out of proportion. As I have stated and will reiterate, I have seen way worse. I know I've said that a thousand times, but I'm trying to beat that point home. I've seen way worse. But anyway, guys, that's all I got. Let me know down in the comments below how you feel about it. Or you can just tell me to go fuck myself because I'm thinking this is no big deal. I don't care. And also, too, if you're new to the channel, would you please go down here and hit that little subscribe button, hot duke in that notification bell. And as always, it's been your old buddy John. And I'll see you again next time. <laughs>